Check out, he's surrounded by girls. Hey guys, it's Mike from Gatorland. Welcome back, and uh, it's time for the next vlog. I know Savannah usually does this part, but she's out of town, she's down in Australia, so she asked me to do the vlog this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. She calls me the vlog hog, but it's just cause I'm leading man material and I get a lot of footage, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is go out into the park, we're gonna play around, we're gonna do some Mike Heilman stuff. We're gonna play with some animals, and we're gonna do some stuff with crocodiles. Whatever it is, it's gonna be cool because Mike Heilman's doing it. So let's go out in the park, have some fun, and I'll see you. Mike Heilman, the man, the myth, the Mike. Voted Gatorland's most valuable employee 32 years in a row in an independent study performed by himself, Mike Heilman. A real achievement since he's only worked at Gatorland for 28 years. Mike Heilman, known to some as the vlog pedagogue. Come with us now as we follow this living legend on his awesome adventures. Prepare to experience Mike Heilman. Um, I'm not quite sure what that was, but I guess that's what happens when I leave the country and Mike Heilman handles the vlog. So I hope you guys liked that. It was pretty funny, Mike. Big love to you back there at Gatorland. I miss you guys. I am at Crocodilla's Park in Darwin, Australia. Crocodiles Park was started by an amazing man by the name of Graham Webb. If you don't know who he is, you need to Google him because he is the godfather of all crocodile research and conservation in the entire world. And Gatorland Global was fortunate enough to be able to come here and spend some time and learn a bunch of stuff and take that all back to Gatorland so that we can do a better job with our conservation projects. So, my guide the entire time I've been here, her name is Shannon. And Shannon has taken me everywhere and we've done so many crazy things. So I'm gonna introduce her to you guys right now. You're gonna love her because secretly I think she's like the Savannah of Crocodilo's Park. She's amazing. Not that I'm amazing, but you know what I'm trying to say. Shannon's awesome. Let's go meet her and then I'll show you some highlights of my trip so far. So what is that, Shannon? So these are lovely chicken heads. So this is what we feed um, most of our animals. The reason why is it's such a good size, so easy to measure and weigh, but also pretty good for them. You've got eyeballs, a bit of brain, you've got beak, you've got everything in that one bit. And you don't wear gloves? No. The juice is just getting your gloves anyway, so. <laughs> Scream away, yellow way does not bother me, just attracts more crocodiles. Now also, if I do have a crocodile that I'm feeding in the boat, and I will feed Grandma Susie before we leave. Uh, it's not mine, but somebody said that. So the last tour was slightly funny, there was a lady screaming. But we do have prop guards on the back of our motors. If a crocodile is sitting at the back of the boat, it's not going to turn into final destination. They use it as a bubble massage. Also, crocodile attack stories. People like to hear. Hey. You've got to be incredibly similar to all of these girls. <laughs> and so, folks, check out that. You can find these guys hiding well into that vegetation. So, 100 meters away from a water source. Especially because, again, he's not the largest boy. Hello, Casanova. And once you go for a hide, you can get up there as okay. well. Very cheeky girl. There we go, and he's got some salad. Oh, mate, you tossed it out your mouth there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> but also, check out when it comes to those bony plates on the back and neck, those six osteoderm bumps, that's how you can tell if you've got an Australian saltwater crocodile. That is unique to these guys. 
Oh, come on, you got two bits there, mate. There we go. He's starting to get his food there. And check this lovely boy out. Now I want to try feed him a pig's leg on the front. Hold on. Crocodilus Park and here we have a freshwater crocodile so the native to the northern parts of Australia this guy's about four months old so he's got a lot of growing to go but uh looks pretty aggressive right now <laughs> it does let's see what happens if you try to pick him up oh he's a puppy dog crazy <laughs> <laughs> ass <laughs> now these guys gallop, right? Yeah, they do, absolutely. They have a really high gait walk. Uh, and they go pretty quick too, about 40 k's an hour they can gallop over land, so pretty quick. So guys, here we've got our lovely baby saltwater crocodile of Crocodilus Park. They've just started hatching this morning and uh, it's just great to see. Check out this little guy. He's about to pop out the egg, but we just wanted to show you what it looks like when it's in the egg. Check out that tail to the left of the head so they're all wrapped up in there nicely. And uh, eventually this guy's gonna be uh, popping out. But uh, these guys would have spent about three months in the egg. So when they pop out, they're ready to move out and around. And uh, also they're born hunting machines. Look how perfect this little guy is. These are our meerkats. And who's that one? So this is Gary. And the one behind us is Raida. Um, Raida is the dad and Gary is the son. So Raida is about seven and Gary would be maybe five years old. And the GoPro's getting in too. Look, they're still fighting over there. Did you see her try to back up? She can't back up. Check out, he's surrounded by girls. Oh my God, Shannon. So sorry about the screaming, but I've never seen saltwater crocodiles act like that. Crazy stuff, isn't it? And especially seeing their pecking order and how aggressive and just the ultimate predators. They almost jumped on the front of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, they can be very cheeky. I, I scream a lot in Orlando, for sure, yeah. but I, I don't know that Australia is prepared for all that. And I think the screams work better because they actually attract <laughs> the crocodiles. The crocs absolutely love it. So what are we going to do now? So we're about to uh, go on the boat. We're going to check out, hopefully, Coolpinia and Tetley. So you haven't at seen night? those guys yet. Yeah, at night. So do you go out there at night? Yeah, so generally we get to see a lot of the action uh, out there at night. So they do a vocalization, and that's when all the territorial stuff happens. So we may get lucky. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm so excited. This is going to be great. <laughs> I know. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Can some shine it up a little bit? There, perfect. Did you get all that on the Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this vlog, and I hope you learned a little something along the way about saltwater crocodiles in Australia and all the amazing life here at Crocodilus Park. Do yourself a favor, if you're ever in Darwin, make sure you come check out everyone here at Crocodilus Park. They have been amazing to me. Go follow their Instagram, it's at Crocodilus Park. I'll put a link in the description. You guys are gonna love it. Great family here and they couldn't have made me feel any more welcome and I look forward to having them come over to Gatorland. Now, my base is super shiny and that's cause uh, it's super hot. It's like the middle of Florida summer in Darwin, the weather all the time. So do us a favor, check that like button, smash that notification bell, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to too. We sure do love you guys. Here's a little clip from next week's vlog where I got to spend the day with the Outback Wrangler himself, Matt Wright. You guys are gonna love it. Some of the biggest crocodiles I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Check it out. I love it.